Now every Koga bastard in Manjadani knows of our intentions. We have to hurry back to Subagakure. If we want to survive, Guinness Game must die. She moves like a ninja. We must approach with caution. She may well be one of the Koga Ten on the Yasu Scroll. <laughs> I take it you are a Koga from Manjadani. Please, do not be alarmed. As you can see, we are Iga. I'm sure you're well aware that the Koga and the Iga are no longer enemies. Forgive me for not introducing myself. I'm Tenzin. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm a Koi. We actually just came from Manjidani. We were sent there by Genosuke Dono to deliver a message to your people. I must say, I have seen warmer receptions. They attacked us and we barely escaped with our lives. Hm. Well, you shouldn't take the Koga so lightly. But you see our dilemma. We can't face Genosuke after failing him like that. Not alone. But if you came with us, I'm sure he'd be more understanding. Is Genosuke-sama all right? Young woman, your question shows a lack of faith in your leader. Even if we had evil intentions, his skill would prevent us from acting on them. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> we agree on something. So will you accompany us to Subagakari then? I'm sure Genosuke Dono would enjoy seeing a familiar face. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. <laughs> 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 Get ahead of yourself, young lady. Didn't your elders teach you confidence is the quickest way to defeat? <laughs> Not yet, Nenkin. Let's keep her alive for now. She may be of use to us. Why show mercy? She's a Koga! We can use her as bait when we kill Genosuke. Perhaps the compassion he shows her may serve as his undoing. Day behind Kazumachi. The Koga are bound to have the scroll by now. <laughs> Stop. 
Stay alive, Hojo Ruby. Please, stay alive. <laughs> We must attack now! You saw how many men we lost out there. What are we waiting for? Let's slay them all! No, Gilbu. That we cannot do. What do you mean? Why the hell not? Do you not remember? Our future leader is visiting Subagakure right now. And besides, isn't that what they expect from us? To attack their village in return, surely the Iga have laid some sort of trap for us. Are we to leave Genosuke-sama and their wretched village to die? Just because you fear a trap? Genosuke-sama is not one that the Iga can slay. We must have faith in his judgment. But... <sighs> Listen, we won't attack Subagakure, but we will go to make sure he's well. But, first there is something that we must verify for ourselves. It's Sumpu, isn't it? Something unexpected must have happened. Why would they attack us if the Iga and Koga are in a time of peace? Perhaps these particular Igas were acting of their own accord. It may have been their way of rejecting the standing peace agreement. Some of us would do the same if not for Hattori's pact. That's it. The No Hostilities Pact. Could the treaty have been nullified at Sumpu? What? How? Yobu, you overheard the Iga scheming. You said that their leader was intent on attacking us from the beginning. That's right. I overheard their plan. They were clearly intent on staging an attack. Let's not take unnecessary chances. Kazumachi was a formidable opponent alone. The Iga came from the north on Takedo Road. They sought to intercept Kazumachi on his way back from Sunpu, planning to kill the courier bearing a secret from Danjo-sama. He engaged them in battle, but death has claimed him. They know something that we do not. But how? Subagakure is much farther from Sunpu than Manjadani. Their messenger should still be on the way there. So then, we'll beat them at their own game. Let me kill the first.